The Coral Cup Handicap Hurdle is next. This is a two mile five furlong grade three handicap hurdle. It's the first opportunity of the handicap hurdlers today, isn't it? Two mile five furlongs this time. El Centro Token at the top for Vinnie Gerard, Emma Oakway for James Shea, Ten Arlo, Darren Thompson, Pastime Dreamer, Marty Lim, Gabrona, John Morgan, Persian Genius. Marty Lidham, Roller Six, and the Big Penny for Craig Beckwith, Lord North, Graham Clutterbuck, Archers Rain, Paul Parsons, and the Liam Crescent for Derek Hinton, and Ipanema Plod for Alex Cherry. It's 12 runners again. It seems to be a popular size field today. 12. Uh, Cameron up a tree as we set off for the Coral Cup. Ipanema Plod is the first to show for Alex Cherry. As they make their way to the first of 11 flights of hurdles. I'm going to take this time. Ipanema plod. Led over it. Pastime Dreamer down on this near side. Will probably get the lead. I feel I should have been on the inside before too long. Although now Lord North is being driven up as well. And then Gabrona. El Centro Token and the Grey 10 Arlo. Towards the back Persian Genius. is just the back marker. Well, it's Ipanema Plod who's hanging on of a lead from Pastime Dreamer and Lord North. Gabrona is next as they get to Flight 2. And all safely over Flight 2. Pastime Dreamer and Ipanema Plod sharing the lead now. Between the two of them, Lord North in El Centro Token and Gabrona. Ten Arlo. And Archer's Rain and Anderlea Crescent in the pink. Persian Genius continuing to be the back marker as they move into the final two miles and head towards the next flight. It's Ipanema Plod who will lead them over to the third. Slightly better jump by Pastime Dreamer in second. Then Lord North is third. El Centro token for the Great Ten Arlo on the outside of Gabrona. In Archer's Reign. Under the Crescent on that one's outside with Emma Oakway with the widest on the track. And then a line of three at the back. The two Craig Beckwith horses, Big Penny and Roller Six. And finally, Persian Genius. Although a mistake there by Archer's Reign has seen that one there. Join the back group as well. So they're heading into the straight then. And it's Ipanema Plod. He's going far, far better than plodding as they get over the fifth. Well, that one nice. The one who's really losing his place now, dropping right back. He's passed on Dreamer. That was disputing the lead not too long ago and it's now dropped right down the pack and is towards the back so maybe something wrong with that one as they race uphill and head away from the stand and it's Ipanema Plot who is the leader from El Centro Token who's gone second Lord North is third then Archer's Reign and Ten Arlo Gabrona is next then Anderlea Crescent, Persian Genius on the inside. Then Pastime Dreamer has been niggled along with Big Penny. Roller six and everyone. Oh, and the leader went right into the top of that flight and hit it hard and would have lost a lot of impetus there with now Lord North and Gabrona coming around the outside. Ten Arlo is looking ominous in fourth. Also, Archer's Rain is creeping into it and Pastime Dreamer has now got a bit of a second wind and is coming back into the leading group again so maybe that was just giving that horse a bit of a, bree a breather but they're inside the final mile and Gabrona's probably just hit the front then now as they get over the seventh four more to go and Gabrona and Ipanema plod Lord North between the two of them then Pastime Dreamer getting into it again Ten Arlo is next then Archer's Reign Big Penny is creeping closer Persian Genius is going to try and go up the inside Roller Six is next then under the Ebb Crescent and Emma Oakway, El Centro Token is the one who's dropped to the back now, but it's Gabrona and Ipanema Plod disputing the lead over the fourth last. Much better jump this time by Ipanema Plod, who's got back in front. Gabrona is second, Pastime Dreamer, Ten Arlo, now sweeping round the outside. Lord North and Archer's Reign are next. These are clear of Persian Genius with three to jump. It's Anderlea Crescent racing downhill. Ipanema Plod in the lead from Gabrona in second. Then Pastime Dreamer is third, Ten Arlo four, Archer's Reign, and then Lord North. They're down towards this third last 
now and suddenly Gabrona comes back to challenge for the lead again. Lord North is now trying to respond to that run. Between them is Pastime Dreamer. They're over to third last slow jump by Pastime Dreamer. But Gabrona's kicked on for home with two to jump. Gabrona suddenly gone four clear from Ten Arla who's moved into second. Then Lord North, Big Penny is now running on a big race on the outside. Pastime Dreamer's trying to get back into it. Then Archer's ran over the second last they go. And it's Ten Arla who sweeps into the lead. Ten Arla takes it up from Lord North, Gabrona and Archer's ran. Then Big Penny on the outside, Pastime Dreamer and Persian Genius are next. They've only got one more flight to take and it's the Grey Ten Arlo trying to give Darren Thompson his fourth win of the day. In the lead from Lord North, Gabrona is next. Big Penny on the outside. This is the final flight. Ten Arlo landed in the lead. Ten Arlo from Archer's Reign who's flying up the centre. But it's Ten Arlo who's holding on and Ten Arlo takes it from Archer's Reign. Big Penny, Gabrona, Lord North and then Pastime Dreamer all the way back to the long-time leader, Ipa Name Applaud. And it's Darren Thompson Day on day one of the Cheltenham Festival. That's his fourth winner of the ten races so far. Forty percent of the races have gone to Darren Thompson. So Darren Darren Thompson takes it with ten Arlo. Archer's reign for Paul Parsons. That must be a big throw for him in his first Cheltenham Festival. He's got a second place in a grade three handicap. Big penny for Craig Beck. Craig Beckwith ran well as well to be third. Gabrona for John Morgan fourth. And Lord North for Graham Clutterbuck was back in fifth.